Whoa! The employees at Home Depot got intense! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kida Major DX Gigant Driller. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Gigant Driller in both of his modes. On the other side of the box, we have Kida May Silver. On the other side of the box, we have Gigant Driller. Again, both of his modes. Up top, we have the six Kira Majors, and on the back of the box, we have our obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff, and on the bottom we have, warning, don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you, and we have, Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have Gigant Driller, and this is the machine and mecha for Kirame Silver. So, first we will take a look at Machine Drijan, and as you can see, it's a triple drilled machine going on there. You see the drills done in a nice transclear and plastic with a little bit of that sparkly sparkly in there. And you can see the nice orange paint scheme going on there. It's all pretty nice molded details throughout. Got some nice metallic blue up in here. And also some white. You can see the uh, the carrot symbol right there. You can see all the treads and more treads. Some nice molded detail. And you got a big old claw right up top as well, which is spring loaded. And the other side. Let's see, there's a good bit of molded detail as well. And there's the bottom, you see you got the little rolling wheels. It does roll as rolling things should. And the cool thing is that when you roll it, the drills will spin, which I like. Really nice little play feature there. I dig it, I dig it. So it rolls and drills as rolling drilly, dr 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 exactly, rolling drilling things should drill. Yes, yes. And for comparison, let's bring out some of the other machines. Here's the, hey, you stay together. Here is the uh, the train wrecks and the others here. Just so we can see how all of this scales with machine Drijan. You can see he's pretty big. He's a pretty big bulky boy. So they have that. Now there is some articulation here with Machine Drijan. Uh, as I showed before, a big claw here can open and close. A little spring loaded bit there. It can also rotate. It can move up and down. It can also move at this hinge here. It can move up and down. And this whole arm right here can also move up and down if you need it to. So you got that going on. And you also have this little smaller claw again can move up and down and move up and down at the base if you need it to so there you have that and here is the Kidame stone for machine Drijan. you can see down in that nice transparent plastic it's got little sparkly sparklies in it I love the sparkly sparklies because it's sparkly and you can see it is you know pretty much your standard uh, Kidame stone size a little bit bigger but not too much but so how this works is this is, it's it's a fun concept that doesn't work flawlessly, but it's a fun concept. So what you do is you set it up. So uh, this, little, this little tab here, you want to make sure this tab is right here on this side. So you're going to sit like this. And what you're going to do here is you're going to take the claw. You're scared of the claw. You're scared of the claw. Anyway, so you're going to take the claw, bring it down, and you're going to basically bring the claw down onto this and grab it, like so. And once you've done that, you just swing this around, pray that the claw doesn't actually drop the stone. <laughs> Bring it around and up. <laughs> Bring it around like so. And in theory, you're going to just drop, oops, make things happen that aren't supposed to happen yet. But in theory, you're supposed to just take the stone and just drop it down into this section here. Just let it go. And there you go. But 
when it actually finally falls into place, which I have to do manually here, just drop it down and boop, you can see there is a nice bright LED that goes off in there and just lights that stone up. That's really cool. And you can light this up by pushing this button right here. That's what activates it. And you can see that light stays on for a good while. It stays on for a little bit. We'll just wait for it to go out. There you go. And if you want to reactivate, just push the button. Boop, and that turns it back on. There you go. There you have the stone inside of Machine Drijan. And there you have the full effect right there. And it's a fun little gimmick you can do if you want to do it. Now, if you want to uh, turn the light back on, unfortunately, you can't just push the button. It doesn't do anything. You have to actually, like, pop it up and then push it back down. And then the lights will come back on. But, uh, yeah, well, it's a, it's a neat little thing. I do quite dig it. You know, it's, it's simple but effective. But that is it for the machine mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so first thing we are going to do is we're going to unclip this section right here. Let's see, the clip is right there. Just undo that, and that will allow you to swing all of this to the side. And at this point now, we can split the legs. Let me raise up a little bit so I got some room to operate. So once you split the legs, you just bring the legs down, flip up the feet, and now he can stand. And then we just take this arm and just bring it around and down like so. And just rotate the claw so everything is oriented properly. And a little fun thing you can do here is you can take this drill. It will come up on this hinge. And then you just bring it around. So I'm going to bring it all the way around like that. And it will push that button and it will make that part of the stone pop up. And you just bring the arm back down. Then you take this faceplate, comes up boop, to complete the head. And there you have Gigant Driller in his robot mode. And he's a beefy, chunky bot, and I like him. I personally like him. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. But let's get in close here so we can take a look. Right, it's just out. That's noggin. You can see. Got the orange, black, some silver there as well. And again, you got the carrots logo on the chest. Got some big bulky arms. Well, one bulky arm. This one's a little skinnier. <laughs> but he's got some big chunky thighs. You can see a transparent plastic right there. Got some sparkly sparklies behind it. And his big old drilling feet. He's got tread high heels. <laughs> And a tread booty. Got that tread booty going on. Hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? Now, articulation-wise, I mean, it's a Sentai mech. It doesn't do a whole lot. The head does not do anything. Arms can rotate and do a full 360. You do get some... Ah, you can do that. This comes packaged separately, so it's supposed to come off. <laughs> it just clips on. But the arm can move up and down at this end. You do technically have an elbow joint. You know, although it only moves inward and outward, but hey, it moves if you need it to move. Rotation, yeah, you can open and close that claw. This little claw arm here, you can move up and down again. You have those hinges there as well. On this arm, again, you have your rotation up and down, and that joint there if you need it for whatever reason. And the legs can move up, and that's pretty much it. I mean, they basically lock in place, so they're not really. They don't move for the sake of posing, they move for the sake of transformation as well as the toes. Again, they move more for the sake of, they move more for the sake of uh, transformation than for posing. But they have that. And for comparison, let's bring in our other robots. We got King Express, and of course we have Kida Major, and he is definitely the, uh, the bulkiest of the three. He's a beefy boy. But they look good together. I like him. Also, if we want to, we can plug some uh, some other machines to him. Uh, as you can see, he does have a post on his shoulder, so we can take, you know, we can take Shovelo here. We can, you know, plug him up there. That could be a thing. If you want it to be a thing, we can take, you know, hey, we can plug that right there. Have that going on. Or actually, put the sword 
in the claw, which you can do also. So hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. Um, another thing to note is you can fit other, you know, get on my stones in here. They don't, they don't just rattle around in there. They don't lock in, but you know, you could put other stones in there. Again, just kind of like your standard size ones if you want, uh, you know, hey, they, they, thing you can do if you want to do it, as always, but hey, here we go. You can get his head all lit up there. You can see how that looks all nice when it's lit up. I like that. So, hey. But there you go. So there you have a Gigant Driller. And uh, yeah, he's a fun toy and a nice addition to the Kila Major team. I do quite like this chunky boy. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course, there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Super Sentai Toys. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Kita Major playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Akira Major DX Gigant Driller. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Home in your face. All right, who called for backup? The, who are you? I'm Gigant Driller. The, why do they call you that? Because I got a big drill. It's pretty self-explanatory. Oh. So are you here to help us fight the forces of evil? Yes, I am here to help you fight the forces of evil. That and I was tired of being the claw machine at the local arcade. Oh. So anyway, how much does this job pay? Pay? Uh, well, it, it, it pays in pride? Pride? I mean, come on, we're saving the world. Isn't that payment enough? Eh. I heard Chuck E. Cheese needs a new claw machine. I bet they'll take me.